And in business, the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has stalled the implementation of new electricity tariffs from April, pending the determination of a motion challenging it. The new tariffs, which go into force from April, were announced by the Nigeria Electricity Reg Regulatory Commission last week. NEC handed 11 electricity distribution companies uh, the template for the new tariffs applicable in their regions. At the hearing of a suit by the Incorporated Trustees of Human Rights Foundation against 15 respondents in the electricity industry, Justice Muslim Hassan ordered the parties to maintain the status quo. The respondents are NEC, the Bureau of Public Enterprise, the Nigeria Bulk Electricity Trading Company, and the Minister of Power. Now, some Nigerians who spoke with Plus TV Africa also see it as a burden. So, personally, to my own analysis, the money should remain where they are because things are not floating. We have just started the year. So there's no need government say they want to increase the money. That means there's no democracy, there's no triple democracy. The looters should go and allow the no government to come in. That's what we are saying. That is very bad. Because where I stay, I stay in Ekwe. The last time they brought a bill of almost 10,000 era, but just four of us in that flat. And I went to complain to all these people that, why? Because we're home on to hardly even see light for maybe two times in a day, or no, two times in a month. I said, ah. they said uh, it has to do with uh, the measurement from the calculation from the transformer and all that. I said, ah, it's just something else. And now they're increasing it again, I don't know. So I only enjoy life whenever I come to work in Nikoyi where I work. So that is the only time I see light. But when I get to a place, it's just too bad. But well, the fact that even if there are lights in some places, as far as the thing is not well distributed to everybody, there is, they don't have any justice because the economy is bad. Now, the first of everything is even at, at higher side. So I don't know why they will not be saying we should pay more again for electricity, but things are just getting difficult in this country. First of all, the level of electricity in Nigeria is very poor, very poor. And I think the reason why the government wants to increase the electricity tariff is because we all know in Nigeria, if the government gives you something with the left hand, they take it back with the right hand. And I think the reason is because of the minimum wage has been increased to 30,000. That is why they are also trying to collect back the money indirectly by increasing the electricity tariff. So that is very bad, it's very bad because we are not even enjoying the electricity in Nigeria. If not for a few places where we have Rich men like Ikoi, Ikeja, some places we don't enjoy anything by electricity. I think the government should concentrate on how to make uh, power, I mean light, stable to compare with other countries like Togo, Cameroon, you see. They can't compare their, their lights to what we have here in Nigeria. So to me, I think the government should concentrate on how to give us this light and make it stable so that because the increment will make the masses suffer the more. So I think um, it's not, to me, I think it's not a good one. So government should help the masses by giving them a stable light so that product, people can also, who are self, uh, self uh, people who are self, uh, may, uh, who are really working on how to be self-employed can be able to achieve one or two things because of the help or, or with light. I'm not supposed to. So, still in business, the head of currency processing operations at the Bank of Ghana, Dominic Owusu, has disclosed that the Bank of Ghana has no intention of setting up a printing facility to print the cities anytime soon. According to him, the country does not have the capacity as it is a very expensive venture. Dominic Owusu's comments follow growing concerns from the public for Bank of Ghana to consider printing the city in the country. The concerns were revisited after the introduction of the new higher denomination of 100 Ghana CDs and 200 Ghana CD notes and 22 coins of Ghana CDs. Owusu explained that bank notes are made from cotton, like the jeans we wear. Difference being that the linen is the lines rather in the bank notes are shorter and that of the jeans longer, and that is why bank notes do not tear up like ordinary paper, according to him. And that's it on business. And still ahead on Plus TV Africa News is a roundup on sports. We will be back in a moment. <laughs>